Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, guys. And for the newcomers, my name is Didi Tai Hutu, and I am traveling the world with my family of five. My wife, Roman, Jolie, Juna, and Jessa are my daughters. After four years ago, we went all in into Bitcoin after selling our house, companies, and everything else. Still traveling the world, guys. Now coming to you guys from Lagos and Portugal. From again, a new beach. I haven't been here yet. It's empty because it's very early. It's called Praia da Ana. Beautiful beach. We almost took an apartment on the top of this beach, but we are very happy with the house that we chose now. In today's video, guys, bombing you with really cool Bitcoin charts. A few that I have never shown you before, and I really like these charts. Also talking about Wall Street and Bitcoin, talking about Ethereum 2.0, talking about something new in this DeFi industry, which is really interesting. Also guys talking about Paid Network, because they just partnered up with a huge fund, a fund that was also behind Coinbase and many other really cool projects, guys. And of course, also talking about the family and life. Yes, because all my videos are about Bitcoin, blockchain and life guys a lot of cool news in today's video you don't want to miss out and yes there will be a qr code hidden somewhere in the video so you can claim some family tokens good luck finding that one and enjoy the complete video today guys enjoy it another beach hmm. easy different let's take the different one oh dear guys yes I took the car I don't know yet which beach I will drive to but I'm driving to the beach just to have another scenery while I'll talk to you guys about Bitcoin blockchain and life give me a couple of minutes to drive to the place Let's first start with this big news. Bitcoin was featured on the front page of the Wall Street Journal. And that was not the first time that Wall Street Journal gave some attention to Bitcoin because we, me, myself, and I, and my family, we were also featured in a documentary created by Wall Street in 2017, guys. Yes, in 2017, Wall Street Journal flew over to the Netherlands and he recorded a documentary about us, with us, in a week time on our campsite when we were still living on that campsite so now again wall street journal featuring bitcoin because bitcoin is nearing this all-time high and because they are stating like wow bitcoin has a new audience it's not just about the normal people anymore but now also about billionaires and institutional investors so thumbs up for wall street finally discovering bitcoin again and maybe you need to catch up with us to see how we are doing at the moment like you're used, we now only start with the Bitcoin charting part, this one, BAM! First chart I'm going to show you guys is this one, where I compare the Bitcoin and the Ethereum performance with each other, this chart, BAM! Like you can see, Ethereum has been outperforming Bitcoin the last couple of days. I think Bitcoin is behind with about 20%. So Ethereum is running ahead of Bitcoin at the moment. 
and that's why a lot of people started to exchange their bitcoins for ethereum to take some profit over there the strange thing on this chart guys is that the orange line is ethereum and the gray line is bitcoin really confusing guys please bitcoin is the orange the yellow color and the others you can use for ethereum but yes ethereum has been outperforming bitcoin with about 20 percent in the last couple of days let's see if this will still stay the same when bitcoin makes this jump that i talked about yesterday that plan b is expecting more important question for you guys is now oh what are we going to do because bitcoin is hovering around this 18,300 to 500 level you know and everybody is wondering now are we going up or are we going down this next chart will show you how many percentage chance we have of going down and how many percentage chance we will have on going up i'm going to climb this small cliff thing here to see what is behind it one second there's a beautiful view it's getting colder guys it's like 15 degrees in the morning and i'm still wearing a t-shirt and a shorts but there are also still people swimming so it's okay but on this next chart guys you can see the difference on chances where we will go in bitcoin in the next couple of days this chart bam on this chart guys you can see that there is a 35 percent chance of a drop because we can see a head and shoulder pattern and a head and shoulder pattern consists out of a shoulder a head that is a little bit higher again the shoulder a little bit lower and it has a neckline the neckline is this red line as you can see on the chart we still can go a little bit lower to this neckline and then the question comes in 35 percent of the chances a head and shoulder pattern like this means that we will drop downwards and how far can we drop downwards then we can drop downwards the amount of the neckline till the top of the head and that's 1600 us dollar so that would mean that we can drop all the way down to 16,800 US dollar if we drop down from the neckline. And that's a 35% chance. Hopefully you can still understand me because the waves are getting bigger and bigger. If we dro drop to 16,800, we can also drop lower, guys. There are still some support levels around 16,000, 15,500. But let's see first what will happen. Because a bearish pattern like this head and shoulders doesn't always mean that we will go down yes we can also still go up we can go down to this neckline and then bounce upwards guys you can see this very nice on this chart bam so then guys this neckline will be the support and we will bounce off this neckline and then we will go to the 20k that i expect to happen between the 25th and the 27th of november always be aware guys i am not a professional trader i am just the guy walking the beaches and living life and earning some extras with trading because i use a simplified indicator that helps me with trading but yes i do share charts and i do still think that we could reach 20k this week because i think we will see a bounce from this neckline and then bam up this small jump that plan b was expecting all the way to 20k and set a new all-time high before we drop down again to other support levels and yes always guys for me the glass is always half full and not half empty and when there is only a 35 percent chance of a drop you need to understand there is a 65 percent chance of a bounce so that is the, that is why i think we will see a bounce so bounce bitcoin just jump let's jump crisscross jump I gonna make you jump jump <laughs> that one you know <laughs> two small guys making this jump song in the 90s yeah it was a popular song let's jump and now guys another really cool chart this is what i refer to the bitcoin halving chart it was created by charles btc tweeted by charles btc i love charles btc's charts this chart is the halving chart really awesome chart check it bam on this halving chart guys you can see four candles every halving represented in one candle the fourth candle is the candle we are removing now down below the halving chart down below the ch candles guys you can see the opening price you can see the highest price the lowest price and the closing price so let's take a look at the first candle the first halving opened at zero <laughs> the highest was 29 us dollar the lowest of course zero dollar and we closed at 12 dollar 
Then let's move on to the second candle. Open that, of course, on 12 US dollar. We closed the first one at 12. So we opened the second candle at 12. The highest was 1130 US dollar. Lowest was 12 US, 12 US dollar. And we closed around 650 US dollar. Then the third candle, guys. That one opened at 650 US dollar. The highest point, as you remember, was 19,650 US dollar. The lowest point of this candle was 520 US dollar and we closed the candle around 8500 US dollar. That brings us to the fourth candle, the candle we are now in, that of course opened then around 8500 US dollar. Lowest at the moment is the same 8500 US dollar. The highest at the moment is 18700 US dollar. And of course, we didn't close the candle that that will take another few years. But what will the close of this candle be? If we would repeat history, the close of this pan candle would need to be around 100,000 US dollar. And then we would have four really beautiful candles on this chart. And then again start to form the fifth new candle, which would then have an opening of 100,000 US dollar. But let's first focus on this fourth candle and let's see if we can create a high in this fourth candle around 100,000 US dollar per Bitcoin next year. Which brings me guys to another really beautiful BAM chart. This one, BAM, this BAM BAM indicator chart shows you how much profit you could have made yesterday on my brother's birthday. Started to trade with 1% of the Bitcoin price, which was 180 US dollar. We traded with a leverage of 10 and we compounded our profits. And yes, again, I traded yesterday on Bybit only because I want to use a trailing stop loss and I need to use the trailing stop losses nowadays because guys, I'm doing a lot of work filming and not always behind the screen and I want to trade a little bit safely then. And that's why I want to use a trailing stop loss and that's why Bybit at the moment is my preferred exchange to trade on. Still, also copy trading on Prime XBT. There is even a Bitcoin family member from our Discord channel that I will state the name down below. It's FM Gerner or something. You know, I don't know how good he is, how bad he is in trading, but it's really cool that a Bitcoin family Discord member now started to train publicly on Prime XBT and you can start to copy trade him. I think the first day he already had a 10% profit, so he's not doing that bad. That's why I am giving him a shout out and you know, and I'm also going to support him by copy trading him a little bit. Thanks for being a Bitcoin family member, FM Garner. Thanks for starting publicly trading on Prime XBT. That was not the story, we were talking about the BAM BAM chart. And so let's get back to the BAM BAM chart. BAM! On this chart, you can see we, see we started with 180 US dollar. The first trade was a long and we made 15% profit. So we turned the 180 US dollar into 208 US dollar. The second trade, also a long guys, the 208 US dollar, I think it was 19%, turned into 249 US dollar. The third trade was a short, 249 US dollar, 18% profit in that trade. Um, so we took 249 US dollar all the way to 296 US dollar. And then the fourth trade was another short that was a 19% profit over there. So the 296 US dollar, we turned that one into 354 US dollar. And the fifth trade was only a 7% profit, but we turned 354 US dollar into 380 US dollar, which was the beautiful end result. Yes, finally a little bit shadow. The end result was 380 US dollar. Remember, we started with 180 US dollar, so that's a profit of almost 200 dollar in very low risk trades with just 1% of the Bitcoin price and only a leverage of 10. So that's a low risk trade and I think it's a high reward because we had a 200 dollar profit. This is doubling your investment. I think the BDD Bam Bam indicator is a beautiful tool. Um, I'm not going to talk too much again about it. If you are interested in the indicator, go to the Discord server or send an email to dd.bam at gmx.com and we will take it from there. I am nearing this thing over there, cliff with a hole in it. I don't know what it is. I'm going to check out now because I don't want to know what it is. While doing so, guys, let's jump into the blockchain slash news part. This one, BAM! The first news, guys, is that Binance sent letters or emails. Letters was like in the old days. 
they're sending emails nowadays, Didi. Wake up. Um, Binance was sending emails to all their US customers that they need to close their accounts in 14 days because else they will lose their funds. Binance needs to block all US customers, of course, because of all these rules and regulations that so many people in this industry want. I am not one of them, but that is why Binance needs to send these bills to their US customers. The US customers need to go to Binance US and cannot stay on the normal Binance. And I know that on the normal Binance, there are more pairs you can trade. That is why the US people want to be on Binance and not on Binance US, because you cannot trade all the altcoins. And these are the coins that now are going to fly when Bitcoin is going to go sideways or dip a little bit. Let's see, let's see if I can climb this, guys. It's, it's, this is a beautiful view. Wait, I will turn around first and you see where I'm at. Look, how beautiful. It's like this grotto, like a cave. And there is like a path. I want to see what is behind that one. So let's go there. This is so cool. I am in the like 3D cave. Check it. Like this, so you can see also the top. I don't think I can film long here because the sea is going to be high tide. Check. So let's quickly talk about some other news that I read this morning. I was drinking this delicious cup of coffee again. Now a Bitcoin mark, my favorite Bitcoin mark, given to me once by, I think, Fun on the Right, also a really cool platform that's making a lot of news for and about Bitcoin in Spain, guys. Ethereum 2.0, guys, now has enough Ethereum stake to launch. In total 525,000 Ethereum are staked now in the new two Ethereum 2.0 protocol that's done by I think it was 16,380 validators and that is probably guys why Ethereum broke 600 US dollar because everything is looking very bullish when it comes to Ethereum because Ethereum 2.0 will probably fully launch on the 1st of December which is really cool congrats to the Ethereum 2.0 team for reaching this milestone in Ethereum again and guys there is another new project in this deep my movement D-Hatch. All the big names in the DeFi industry did invest in D-Hatch. I think they invested like 1 million US dollars into the fund managers of D-Hatch and the fund managers of D-Hatch. So what is D-Hatch, Didi? Uh, surely explain it. I'm not going to go too deep into it. D-Hatch is like a little bit the same like, um, for example, copy trading on Prime XBT. But then we now have a decentralized hedge fund. Beautiful part of D-Hatch, guys, is that it is a non-custodial, decentralized social trading platform. Which means, non-custodial, for the ones that don't know what non-custodial means, is that you don't have to send your bitcoins there. You keep your bitcoins in your own wallet, so you have always access to your bitcoins because you are the owner of the private keys. That is non-custodial. Wallets that give you access to your private key, which makes you the person that is in full control on your bitcoins you can now connect your own wallet to the dhedge platform and then choose a fund manager for you that will trade your funds and try to make profit be aware they of course can also lose but till now when i check of those funds there on dhedge are making profit and i love the fact that it is a non-custodial social trading platform because yes i love to keep full control on my private keys and that is what they give me so i will check them out a little bit more and go deeper in it in another video and yes of course i'm going to test it with a little bit funds to see if i can increase my bitcoins there by using the hedge i'm going to climb back and then talk about the last subject i want to talk about today i always seem to use flip-flops in all these idiot places on the world where flip-flops are not the best solution and no this time i didn't hide my bitcoins over there in this cave Okay, let's go down like this. <laughs> okay guys, the last part I want to talk to you about in this blockchain news part is about paid network. It becomes clearer and clearer that paid network is going to be a huge project. 
because Alphabet just joined the project as the lead investment fund. Alphabet is a huge investment fund that was also behind Coinbase, behind Kraken, behind Elrond and many other really cool projects. So paid network, two huge accelerators there, Master Ventures and Alphabet. This project is going to be huge, not only because of the funds behind it, but also because of what it is doing in this world. Paid network, guys, is going to redefine the current business contracts, litigations, and settlement process. Difficult words, but that's a huge change in this world because they are going to do it by providing a very simple, usable debt that is attorney-free and very cost-friendly that you can use. Sell all these kind of contracts on this debt with other people near you or on the other side of the world. So they are just getting rid of the third party step of lawyers, contracts and all that stuff because now you will be able to do it yourself on their debt. Yes, your first question will be, ah, oh, but what if when there is a problem? Who's going to solve the problem? Because it's decentralized, you know? It's peer to peer, you're person to person. So at a lawyer, you still can go to the lawyer because he drafted the contract. Or at a notary, you can go to the notary because he created the contract. That's the beautiful part. They are going to use Chainlink's VRF. So yes, Paid Network is also working together with Chainlink, also working together with Polkadot, two projects that I really love. And what is the Chainlink's VRF? VRF and Chainlink makes it possible to randomly select arbitrators. So yes, when there is an issue, when you have a you know, when you created this contract on this debt and one of the parties is not paying or one of the parties is not uh, delivering the project, then we will use Chainlink's VRF and they will choose randomly arbitrators that will decide who is right in this issue. So you don't need these lawyers anymore that will ask you a shitload of money. That's why I think Paid Network is going to change this whole contract world into a very beautiful decentralized one where we with each other can again settle our agreements and if we have like a dispute this will be solved by a decentralized protocol chaining that will randomly select the arbitrators believe me take a look at paidnetwork.com guys you don't want to miss out on this project i am not saying this because i'm part of it as an advisor as a team member i am saying it because I want to prepare you for what is to come. They are going to be big guys because they are combining the true fundamentals of blockchain and Bitcoin with the whole DeFi hype. This is going to be huge. Believe me, check them out, paidnetwork.com. I think it was a very long video again. Sorry for that guys. Sometimes I just make some longer videos because I can't stop talking. So um, we, I should be talking about the family now, then the video becomes a little bit longer. So I will do that on my way back, climbing this stairway to heaven. I will talk about the family. Only thing that I can tell about the family news is that our Discord family, the huge Bitcoin family is growing tremendously. We are surpassing 500 members over there. A lot of people are also very interested in the DD Bam Bam indicator because they saw my yesterday's video and they want to be digital nomads. They want to completely traveling the world independently, not on a business, a job, but just trading for themselves. And that's why I talked about it. Um, the, the Bitcoin family token market cap has reached 20,000 US dollar. So that's a celebration over there. Really cool. And thank you for everybody that's providing liquidity. And also in December, again, we are going to give you the chance to earn some family tokens for providing liquidity. So keep checking all my social media because I will announce it over there. My wife, Jolie, June and Jessa, they're all doing great. They're all having fun. Uh, schooling is at the moment a little bit difficult because the weather is so beautiful. So the kids mainly want to be outside or in the garden or in the jacuzzi. And um, so sometimes we just let it go and we let the schooling like drop a little bit to a lower level and they will pick it up again when they are into it. We now, I bought them a bike by the way. Um, they didn't accept Bitcoins over there, sadly. It was Decathlon, Decathlon. So Decathlon, you need to start to accept Bitcoins as well. Then I would have bought two bikes, uh, not just one. The kids have a bike now, so they can drive around uh, Lagos, and they've been doing that. You know, they, they take the bike and they go to Lagos. They go to these hang courts where all the 
kids are hanging around and all that stuff. They go to the shop and all the things. So yes, they are like feeling at home here in Portugal. The same for my wife, she feels at home here in Portugal. Last week, they weren't into filming that much. This week, I told them, you need to film. People want to see you guys. Jolie, bring me the views. Oh man, bring me your humor. Juna, come on, bring me your talents. But Juna, but Juna prefers to edit videos, so sometimes she's editing my videos. And Jessa, she's just too young and too crazy to even support me in making these videos because that would be like, I think, difficult. <laughs> because she would be like talking even more than me and disturbing the whole video continuously. Um, so that's why Jessa doesn't want to go. And it's too early. She's always like, that's too early. I want to, no, that's too early. I need to wake up. I need to wake up. That is also why they are not joining me every day. I wake up at six guys and then I start to read all the news and everything. And then, yes, around seven already, I'm out there filming these videos. And yes, my kids are still sleeping then. But this week, you will see a really cool episode by Gokstein Media, guys. So, yes, finally, this Friday, the Gokstein Media episode will definitely go live. We had some technical issues last week, so we postponed it with one week. And this week on Friday, a really cool family episode. No talking about charts, no talking about blockchain, just family created by Gokstein Media. And that definitely was all for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. Always remember, guys, to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy life every single minute of the day, as that is exactly what life is about. Thanks for watching today again and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye!